had to appear this morning by lust of Sir Barry Jackson, who was the man who started Birmingham Rectory Company in 1913. He was a Birmingham man, lived in Mosley, which some of you may know, and uh, he was from a very uh, arts interested family, so he spent his own money to build the old wreck, which is the theatre down in Station Street, at the back of New Street Station. Some of you may know that theatre, it's still there. And he developed the idea of the repertory company, where you have a group of players, and they worked on several productions at the same time, and they would be on stage doing one show and rehearsing for the next show, which would be the following week. So it's an extremely concentrated, hard work that the actors in those days did. That's a focused repertory company. We don't work that way now. Uh, we don't keep a permanent repertory company. Um, uh, actors are recruited for each individual production. Some of the productions go out on tour and some of them just have the run here and then that's it. But there's one very important factor about Birmingham Rep which makes it uh, unusual. It is what's known as a receiving, uh, it is what's known as a production theatre, not a receiving. A production theatre, we have our own workshops uh, here on site and if a production is going on, we, we design the sets, we build the sets, the sets are painted, wardrobe is done here, we make up everything. We have four workshops, that's uh, wigs, wardrobe, workshop and paint shop and you will be getting a, a little fleeting glimpse of those today and downstairs in the basement in the dark and dusty basement we have the props area which is another sort of workshop where any sort of odds and ends business, everything that goes on the stage will be stored down there. The other sort of theatre is a receiving theatre. Now that's like the Alex and the Hippodrome where a show is already produced and the theatre brings in the whole thing, lock, stock and barrel. Everything is done, it's delivered in a lorry, unloaded, the show is put on and then it's loaded up again and it goes to the next theatre. Now that's a receiving theatre, whereas the rep here is a production. I hope that's okay. Is that all right? Which is um, the smallest performance space that the rep has. Um, it opened a year after the main building and it's often used for children's shows. Don't know if any of the children have ever been in there. It's quite small, okay, so that you can um, come and see a show in there. It's also used for new. Um, plays and new works, um, they can show them in the door as well. At the moment, there's some workshops going on for children, and they're all about this story. Okay, it's called Coming to England, and it's by a lady who used to be on the TV when maybe your mums and dads were little. Stage. No. Backstage. So you can hear like where we want to show. Yes, indeed, absolutely. I, I can explain that to you. Would you like to come forward, please, so everybody can hear? That's wonderful. Thank you. That's the bottom set, which you can want to. You're interested. You can go and have a look at afterwards. Is everybody through? Can you all hear me? All right. Okay. Now we are backstage, we are, that is the main stage and if you look through there you can actually see the auditorium and that's the sort of view that the actors on stage would have. Big, big central auditorium. That area holds 800, sorry, are you okay there? 
824 at a maximum, 824. Uh, we have the three spaces. You've just had a glimpse of the door, the small space. This now is the main house. And then we also have the third space, which is the studio. And that holds sort of 300 plus. It, it, it can be uh, variable, but it, it's over 300. And that is to the other side by the library. But unfortunately, we can't take you in there today. There's something going on in there today. But we do have the three performance spaces. But this is our main stage. In the country. It's uh, 16 and a half meters if anyone's interested in statistics. 16 and a half meters depth and it's 15 and a half meters high to the top of the senior mark. When you look up, you can see the height of the Fly Tower. That's called the Fly Tower. Charlie. Yes, I am. <laughs> Probably better. You know. Have you been to the theatre before? Never, no. Oh, right. I go to the um, Symphony Hall quite often, but... Yes, um, but never been to us. No, I will come. Beautiful theatre, isn't it? It's a fabulous theatre. Yes, obviously I will come. I mean, this is just a whistle song. Yes, but it's wonderful, so right? So much that yeah. we could tell you about all these yes. things. Yes. But it's just... On this sort of day, there isn't the time. No, you know? but we're lucky to have this. Well, I think it's fascinating. Thank we'll you very much. Greece. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, yes. yes. They're doing um, a carpentry demonstration there just at the moment. Ah, right. Where's the rest of the car? Yes. Could you follow them down? And we'll talk to you at the far end. Daddy, can we go in there? One very important thing I should tell you, um, when this theatre was sort of uh, brief, because the, the theatre was open in the uh, early 1970s, but in the 90s it was revamped and various extensions and so on were, were built in. But this room was not changed at all for one very, very good reason. This. It, and the one on that wall there. They are paint frames, and it allows the city artist to put the big pieces of set that come from the workshop. They can be hung, and it can be canvas, it can be wood, it can be made of anything, but they can be hung on there, and it allows the artist to stand here and paint this bit. And then the canteen, it can be lowered, and he can paint the next bit, and lowered, paint the next, until the whole of the screen is covered. And this, this paint frame is the size of the back of the rep stage, which you will just stand on. So when you walk past those demonstrations, that is the size of that 
process but uh, some of the things they produce are just fabulous. Have you seen any of the productions, any of you here at Birmingham Red? Yes, you have. I don't know if anyone saw um, uh, 12 Angry Men, which was on a couple of years, well, more than a couple now, isn't it, because we've lost two years. Uh, but they were, it was a jury room and there was a great big uh, table in the middle of the set and that looked like polished mahogany. Beautiful table, great big thing, but that was made from 
uh, metal, it was reinforced, as Netta was saying, it was reinforced underneath, because at one point, one of the jurors, in his anger, jumps up onto the table, and another part of it, they stab it with a knife, so the whole table had to be reinforced underneath with metal. By the time it came in here, it was just a you know, lump of wood. But by the time it finished, it was a polished mahogany Victorian jewellery table, and you would never have noticed the difference. So very, very clever, the artists that were in here. Have you got any questions, anybody? Because we've reached the end of our tour now, really. Um, is there anything else you'd like to know about our theatre? Our lovely theatre. Yes? How did you get the sets from the world? Uh, the, uh, did you see where the demonstration, the, the uh, carpentry demonstration was? Or they would go through that very high door, cross the back of the stage, and then I'll show you as we just go out, because we're going out this way, and they would come in through that door there. I mean, this is all right, it's a little bit too easy, but you can't get the big stuff. And there are big trolleys and things that we More than a couple now, isn't it? Because we've lost two years. Uh, but there, it was a jury room, and there was a great big uh, table in the middle of the set. And that looked like polished mahogany. Beautiful table, great big thing. But that was made from uh, metal. It was reinforced, as Netta was saying, it was reinforced underneath. Because at one point, one of the jurors, in his anger, jumps up onto the table. And another part of it, they stab it with a knife. So the whole table had to be reinforced underneath with metal. By the time it came in here, it was just a you know, lump of wood. But by the time it finished, it was a polished mahogany Victorian jewellery table. And you would never have noticed the difference. So very, very clever, the artists that work in here. Have you got any questions, anybody? Because we've reached the end of our tour now, really. Um. I'm just going to take this gentleman into the... Don't tell anyone. Okay, <laughs> Now what I would suggest yes. is you go up to the next brick, yes. Yes. so to speak, yeah. and stand there because that gives you a good perspective. You could Wasn't go to the top, incredible. but I think but you, you'd get more from here. Do you know when I enter a th theatre like this, I get all emotional. I know, it's wonderful, you isn't know, it? When I first went to the Royal Opera House with my second wife, mm. um, she was from Odessa, Ukraine. When oh. we went through the doors, I'm 43, never been there in my life before. Mm. Nearly fainted. Fabulous. Overwhelmed. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and the great thing about this is it's really comfortable. It's fine. Um, so just go up to along the, there. Yeah, and, and you get a good view there. Thank you. And you'll be okay coming. Oh, down I'm fine. Down I'm so. fine. Maybe yeah. next year. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, bye bye. Bye bye, Dad.
This is wonderful, isn't it? She was so helpful. We are now in the theatre. If you were coming to the theatre. If you were coming here for a performance, isn't this magnificent? So you would sit here. Isn't that wonderful? Hope you enjoyed my tour of Birmingham Refurbished Rep Theatre. Please come along and support.